If you're a GCSE student that's studying a Christmas carol, make sure you use this grade nine point on how Dickens uses setting to reflect Scrooge's evolving character as he goes from being a miser to somebody who seeks redemption and demonstrates charity in your mock exams this month and in November. Number one, make sure you mention in your analysis that Dickens uses setting to reflect the evolving persona of Scrooge. Remember that the novel starts off in Scrooge's office and his home. They are both conveyed as being very cold, very glacial. And this use of setting is used to demonstrate and reflect as well as mirror Scrooge's own cold and isolated persona. That's your first grade nine analysis point. And don't forget, guys, that this half term, I'll be having one-off Literature GCSE masterclasses answering the May 2024 summer exams that year 11 sat and showing my students how to get grade nines in these papers. Number two, the setting evolves and shifts from Scrooge's cold home to the home of Bob Cratchit as well as his family. Remember that. As the novel progresses and we see Scrooge journeying towards his redemptive arc in the story, that is analysis word, make sure to mention that the setting of Bob Cratchit's home is used to demonstrate Scrooge's evolving understanding of, number one, the industrialized poor who work in factories as well as in places that he employs them as his workers. But most importantly, number two, this setting is also used for Dickens's own readers to understand the desperate poverty that a lot of poor people had to endure. What is interesting and ironic as your third point to do with the setting of Bob Cratchit's home and his family is it's the poor who still, even if they live in a small setting and in a small home, they actually seem to be the happiest. There's warmth in their setting. Make sure you use that as your second analysis point. And number three, the setting at the end of the novel where we go to Fred's home where Scrooge asks to be let in, demonstrates Scrooge uh, succeeding in his redemptive arc. In other words, we can see that Scrooge starts to understand through this very warm setting of his nephew's home, the importance of family, but equally, we can see here that there's a warming in Scrooge's persona. He sees the importance of charity, giving, and also being a benefactor to people like Tiny Tim. And of course, if you want to see more Christmas Carol vision videos, make sure you head over to YouTube for three seasons where you're going to see plenty of analysis on a Christmas Carol on this channel.